Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's kind of a muggy day in Wisconsin. I had to open my car windows because it's just kind of warmish. But I want to talk about stretching the truth or the t tall tales and how prevalent and poignant they are today in, <laughs> in a lot of families. Um, I, I want to talk about a couple of things. When I was a kid, um, I was disciplined. I wasn't necessarily close with my mom. I wasn't close with my dad per se until I became an adult. Um, my dad and I went fishing. My mom was a disciplinarian. Whatever she said went and just didn't question it. I, I, would I say I was abused as a child? I, I wouldn't consider myself having had been abused. I just think my mom and I have two different personalities. We have two different styles, ways of thinking. I'm kind of like Winnie the Pooh and she's kind of like Eeyore. It's, and being around her is tough. <laughs> it's real tough. So anyways, um, I want to talk about how mainstream it is today, how adult sons and daughters claim that they have been abused by their parents. And that is the main reason for the estrangement. I don't know if Webster's Dictionary has changed their, their definition of abuse. I don't know about you and me, but if we, if you looked, if you ever read the book, A Child Called It, that's what his mother called him. It is a story of torture of a young man who was never valued. Story of another uh, trials of Gabriel Fernandez, a little boy who was tortured and beaten by his mom and her, I think it was boyfriend. I could go on and on, but I, I don't really want to dive into that because I think I've kind of made my point. I don't know about you, but I was not the perfect parent. I don't know anyone who was. I don't even know if Mary, the mother of Jesus, was perfect because all you know is the angel appeared to a virgin and said, we're going to, you're going to carry Jesus Christ, the son of God, and, and he's going to save the world. And that's, you know, he kept in contact with her after, you know, but you don't hear much about her in the Bible per se. <laughs> she wasn't perfect either. <laughs> so if you want to talk about abuse and how mainstream it is today to cut off your family, not just your parent or your parents, but your siblings, aunts and uncles, grandparents, great-grandparents, etc., etc. Wipe your family history clean because you claim you were abused. Do you know what is abusive? Abusive is when you lie to people and say that you were abused by your parents and they actually believe you. Abused is when you tell someone and come and that your mother has passed away and she clearly has not and you inflict harm on other people abuse is intentional an intentional act to tear apart the body mind and spirit and heart of another individual i don't know one parent who's perfect i don't know any one of us who is not without sin and so therefore i'm not going to say that there were not times I was tough with my kids. I, when my oldest daughter left and came back, she claimed she left because she was afraid of me. And I said, what do you mean afraid? She goes, well, you screamed at us once a month or once a week. I, I, I still don't get it, but whatever. Um, I'm not, did I scream? Well, yeah, <laughs> normally. If you're in fear for your child's life, you scream. Or if you are at the end of your rope sometimes you scream sometimes you scream because they are on the wrong path and you want to get them back on the road <laughs> sometimes we scream have I spanked well yeah I did spank not often I think I'm less than a couple of times I didn't spank that much I, I that's not what my hands were for so I just want to say it's <laughs> these kids I'm, I would never say I was abused by my parents, despite my upbringing. But today, if you want to claim your parents were abused, you, you better come up with, <laughs> with facts that the court would believe that would enable the court, when you were little, to take you away from your parents. 
if you had been abused, someone your family was involved with, whether it's a grandparent, a teacher, someone in the church, someone would have turned your mom or dad in. And if your parents weren't turned in, or if someone else didn't step in to get custody of you, that means if you claim you were abused, not only did your parents fail you, but everyone else failed you as well. So you better think twice about it, because that's that's really what's going on around here. So anyways, that's all I've got to say about it, and I'll be back.